Yeah, so let me explain a little bit about uh, this pachanga. So the keys for driving it, let me see. These are the keys for the gas tank. This one is for the door. And this other one here, it's for turning uh, the main switches on and off. They are located down here two of them and you put in the key you unlock it then you flip it to the left and then it's on the two chargers they're not relevant for now anyways once the once they're turned on then uh, you have uh, ignition ignition switches you should put on the blowers before that's left and right blowers should the blow for yeah, they probably say 10 minutes officially but uh, just a few minutes, I guess, five. And you uh, need to make sure that the dead man switches uh, are in. And you need to make sure that uh, this is an uh, automatic gear drive part. You need to make sure that this is in, um, in the off position for now when you turn it on and that it's neutral. And uh, if it's uh, cold and uh, you need to put a little bit of gas, you put in the button and you switch it forward to put a little more of, uh, of gas. But uh, regularly, otherwise, you just turn on ignition, turn on the engine, left, right, and then uh, everything is operating. In order to engage the electric gear, you uh, flip down these switches. This is the default drive position for the boat. This is forward for the left drive, forward for the right drive, reverse for the right uh, left drive, reverse for the right drive. And of course you can uh, do how you want. Now it's just driving in uh, neutral speed and basically everything you need to do in order to turn the boat around and do other operations, just uh, navigating these switches. There's a boat coming towards us. Well, if I want to turn around, no, I can turn the other way. So if I do like this, it switches into gear. If I click the other one down, it will turn around itself now. Just flipping around inside, you can see that it's slowly turning. You can put neutral, and you can put the other way around. Nice, uh, That's great. So now I've flipped the boat so it will turn the other way toward the waves that are coming. Let's see, it will be fast enough. If not, I can speed up a little bit. Good. I put it into neutral, and that's basically it about the drive. Um, important not to turn it off here when you are in forward gear and what reverse gear, uh, it will put it into neutral. So that's not a good idea. So when you're sailing, leave it here, leave it in gear. Let's go. That's how it should be. Uh, we'll go through some of the other switches. There is the button called accessory. That's actually the one for the hatch. So this one needs to be turned on and then this one will activate the hatch going up and down. The fridge is for turning on the fridge and the electricity there. Um, I think the fridge electricity is also connected to some of the other electricity inside. So if you need electricity for the USB or uh, the lights inside, um, Inside this uh, cabinet, uh, I think it also needs to be activated. I don't remember actually. I know I made it, but I don't know. Stereo, click on. Once the stereo is on, um, it needs to be enabled here by clicking this one for a few seconds. Then it turns blue and it appears as a Bluetooth device. You can connect to it from mobile phone and you can start playing music. You hear the sound. Here's the horn. Running lights, puts the lights nice blue into the um, dashboard and also in the um, compass. Anchor light, stern light, of course. Then, um, yeah, let's see. Um, cockpit lights is in here. 
it's a little bit difficult to see, but it's running on the sides and then on the back inside this uh, compartment for storage. Then there's the spotlights. I don't know if anybody of yeah, one of them is on. And then of course cabin lights. Cabin lights also activate the lights in the no actually the lights in the bathroom it's the spotlight I guess. Anyways, um, then of course here is the trim flaps, here's the drive tilt, it's obvious. The bilge pumps, there's one bilge pump underneath here, and there's one bilge pump underneath, or oh, there's two in the back. One is only automatic activated, and one is uh, manual with an override. Um, well, actually, sorry, both in the back automatic, and also in the front is automatic, but the two in uh, one in the back and one in the front has a uh, manual override and you override it manually by clicking this down then it will start the, the bilge pumps but uh, when you click it down it's actually not doing anything i think uh, that's pretty much it so i didn't show that before but in order to turn off the engine you of course just flip these down so and it's important not to press the start button when the engine is running um, so only only start the ones that are not starting. There is no protection against starting when it's already started. So it will engage the starter, which is not good. This is a 12 to 24 volt uh, power supply. This is needed for the stepper and the uh, electric drivetrain. Um, yeah, not so much else to say. There is the fuse uh, fuses, um, they are resettable, so you just click it if they are popping out. The rest of the fuses, they are located inside there, and they are actually normally normal aut automotive fuses. So um, they need to be switched, or they need to be manually replaced. And there is replacement in the front here, a uh, box with these. But all of these can just be popped in again when something is, and then hopefully Everything will be good. Yeah, I will take down the lid again. And again, it's the same deal. It's not stopping by itself. So uh, when you hear that it's uh, basically down, then you stop it. But that's fine. I haven't tried to let it run. I'm not sure what actually happens, but I want to experiment with things like that. One thing to know is that the fuel gauge it works inverted so when it's full it's empty when it's empty it's full the sync thing i didn't manage to get that to work so there's a signal that is coming wrong somehow everything is connected in the corner in there it seems to be right i don't know why it's not but you see now then it's no power it's in neutral maybe it's a grounding thing or whatever i don't know but you 
Let's see when I, when I click the, the right engine, then it flips all the way over. Left engine is not. So I think there is something there. Anyways. These two are not working. Temperature usually for the water. Actually, let's see what's happening. Okay. Water is usually around this when it's uh, fine speed. How fine. And the oil is uh, looks like it's high pressure. I checked it though with uh, the right instruments and it's actually everything is fine. But on the instrument it looks a little bit high. But it's how it's supposed to be, I guess. 